Good Wednesday morning, everybody. Chris here with High Seas Cruising, and welcome to today's video. Today, we are going to talk about a Minnesota travel agent, Monica Faulkner. Now, you may be asking yourself, well, who is Monica Faulkner, and why are you talking about her? Well, perhaps you remember this video I did right here, titled, Were These Passengers Scammed Out of Their Cruise? Where about 50 passengers that showed up in Miami, ready to board the Carnival Horizon, only to find out they didn't have cabins on board the ship, only to find out they weren't even booked on the cruise. Now, according to Monica, the travel agent who booked this cruise, now, according to Monica, who says she's been a travel agent for years, that it was Carnival's fault. Carnival had canceled these cruises. Now, apparently, though, Carnival never told the passengers. She never told the passengers. They showed up to board their cruise, and they were left standing at the dock. If you haven't checked out that video, I'll put a link to it up here right now. You can go back and take a look at that one before you come back to this one in order to be caught up on the story. Now, she had put out a Facebook statement that says, you know, basically this was Carnival's fault, but I take full responsibility. I will be refunding all of your money and that she was going to make it right. But there would be no other further communications on this subject unless they came from her attorney. Now, keep in mind. Some of those people, they're still waiting for their money. And I asked the question in the video, is this a cruise scam? Were these people scammed or was it by chance an honest mistake? Well, guess what? I think after today's story, we can all say it was a cruise scam because she's back in the news, this time the national news, because once again, we have passenger because once again, we have people traveling. Because once again, we have people booked for travel set up by her that, well, they got to their destination and they had no rooms even booked for them. I'm going to share with you guys a news clip that is directly from some of the people that were involved in this, what has been going on, and some of the things she, she has done. So y'all take a look at this. All right, the wild stories of Minnesota travel agent Monica Faulkner continue. In March, travelers who booked a cruise with her were left stranded on the dock in Miami, even though that they had paid. Now a group arrived in Costa Rica, not knowing they had no accommodations. Fox 9's Karen Scullin has the very latest on this unbelievable story. When they landed in Costa Rica, 71 travelers had no place to stay. Although the group had paid in full, Minnesota travel agent Monica Faulkner had not actually paid for the accommodations. Local property managers helped out by scattering the travelers in various houses and condos. She just was like, don't say anything to any of these people. Travelers had to stay with people they didn't know in various locations with promises by Monica to pay the owners in two days. But she didn't show up. Then we heard that she might have been abducted. Then we heard that she was at the hospital. Then we heard that, you know, all this stuff. On Wednesday, they were told to meet her once again for payment. PayPal, Zelle, Venmo, none of that was going through. And the other people that she owes money, $3,051, they came up. They were like, you got to pay us too. He sent her an invoice on PayPal. And then that's when she started getting, like, acting like she was going to pass out. In came the stretcher and off Monica was to get treated. Meanwhile, others who were put into the fancy houses and condos were getting kicked out for non-payment. Some flew home, some travelers paid extra to stay. Kind of like bang your head, you're like, who does this? Well, Monica does it. It appears she does. I'm told by some travelers set to vacation in Aruba, their trip was suddenly canceled two weeks before departure. After they called the hotel to find out they were not booked, even though they had paid Monica at least $2,500 each for a room. They were told there was about 200 in the group. Gave him the name of everybody in my party. He said no one is on have a room under their name. And I'm like, that's crazy because we didn't gave this lady a total of $5,600. This past Sunday, Monica called at least some of the traveling party saying the trip was canceled. Others just stopped getting communication. Well, Roshonda, I just told my friends to just cancel. I said, well, you just can't say that to everybody because we bought flights. Our flights are non-refundable. Like, what's going on? Because Monica's um, number was going straight to voicemail. She wasn't responding back to Messenger. Many had booked for Mother's Day or birthdays, leaving them devastated 
devastated both emotionally and financially. You on here yeah. with a profile like you, this awesome professional, and you stealing people money. That's not okay. Now, just this afternoon, Costa Rica property owner Jennifer Little, who I interviewed, did get all but $125 back of what she was owed. However, others in Costa Rica, she tells me, are still owed thousands and thousands of dollars. As for the Aruba travelers, they have yet to receive any money back. And as for those cruise passengers, some got some money back, others are still waiting. Efforts to reach Monica Faulkner were not successful. In the newsroom, Karen Scullin, Fox 9. So now we have 71 people that had completely paid for their trip in full, heading to Costa Rica, only to get to Costa Rica and realize that not a single room, not a single accommodation had been booked for them. The last minute she called various condos and Airbnbs, trying to find places to put these individuals, made arrangements to meet up two days later in order to pay for all of it, and she never even showed up. And what of the 71 people without accommodations? Well, when she didn't show up, she didn't make payment, they were kicked out of the places they were staying. Some of them had to fly home, some of them had to pay more money out of pocket to find a place to stay. And where is Monica? Nowhere to be found. And these aren't the only stories out there. There's another story out there of a trip to Aruba. These individuals had paid for the trip, but they started getting curious and concerned. They never received a confirmation. Nothing from either Monica Faulkner, nothing from the hotels. So they started calling the hotels there in Aruba to ask about their reservations only to find out that nobody in their party had ever been booked. One thing to remember is right now these are allegations. Nothing's gone to court, so she has not been convicted of anything. So they are technically still just allegations. But look, we're talking about a cruise on the Carnival Horizon. Same stories coming out of Costa Rica. Same stories coming out of Aruba. I don't know. I think this kind of answers the question. Yeah, obviously she is some kind of scammer. Obviously, yes, she is some type of criminal taking advantage of people who are just trying to enjoy a vacation. Hopefully, we're going to hear about some lawsuits. Hopefully, we're going to hear about an arrest because something definitely needs to be done. But we're going to make sure that her name gets out there. Monica Faulkner. Okay? If you come across her, any advertisements for travel, look, I'm telling you right now, don't use her. Don't recommend her. I sure as heck wouldn't book through her because so far, these are examples of how these trips go that she planned. And I mentioned it in the last video. Look, if you're using a travel agent, make sure it is a reputable travel agent. A travel agent should be booking directly with the vendor. Meaning if you are booking on a cruise and you put down money for a cruise, that money should be going directly to the cruise line. If you're booking a hotel, that money should be going directly to the hotel. Should never be going anywhere else. You should be able to get an email, a confirmation number, and then go to that particular vendor's website and verify your reservation. If your travel agent can't do that for you or says, well, that's not possible. That's not how it works. Look, for another travel agent. Now that's just a word of advice. Like always you do you, but I would hate to see anybody else end up a victim of somebody like Monica Faulkner.